Welcome back, everybody, to Lucky Bamboo. Today we're meeting with Jared again. How are you, Jared? Good. How are you? Good. Today, <coughs> to see if you could explain a little bit as to what goes into realism tattoos. We've had a couple people that ask about them, and then they just seem to get a little shocked when they hear how much that is going to take to achieve that tattoo for them. <coughs> yeah, I think. One of the big reasons I want to talk about this is obviously the style that I do is is mostly geared around realism and um, you know there's different levels of realism there's you know there's you know hyper realism there's realism there's uh, photorealistic there's hyper realism so there's these different levels of realism and um, it's funny when somebody says oh well you know their buddy is looking into somebody doing realism or whatever and um, they're trying to figure out how long a sleeve's going to take, for example, like, well, my sleeve took this long, and well, it's not, not all tattoos are equal, and not all uh, arms are equal as far as the styles go, and time, you can't base it off of, well, this person took this long on my arm, so it should take this long, so, <clears throat> um, somebody doing some illustrative style can cover, you know, on average, probably in half the time, the same amount of space, so, you're talking when you're building up gradients and you're building up smooth um, black and grays and really trying to create a likeness from from uh, image or photograph or a piece of art it's it's a lot of slow hand movements so it's like you know it's shading like this instead of you know kind of a quicker it's it's really slow kind of like brush brush motions to to get that black and gray to like fade out or color or whatever it is um, but it's the technique is just it's a lot slower and to, to create that likeness um, is a lot slower as well because there's a lot of details and everything has to be as close to possible as close to the reference as possible because that's how you create the realism so um, anyway it takes longer I don't know of any any other style that takes longer actually so um, people just need to know when you're when you're looking into that style that you it's expected it is going to be the longest style that you've had. Yeah, I think some people just you know see a picture of a tattoo that looks really cool and they really want to get it and they're just like, yeah, this is exactly what I want without actually researching that style and researching that if it is going to be realism or you're going you know for something like that, the time that it's going to take to do that, and I think they just aren't doing the research into that to realize that it's going to take longer than it would be to just get line art or, you know, something else that would take half the time. <coughs> yeah, I just don't, I think less people are more, more experienced in tattoos and tattoo collecting than they, you're probably not going to know that unless, like you said, you've done research on it. Um, but it's, I guess you think about it, it's kind of common sense, right, to do a portrait or a tattoo of some cartoon face, you know, uh, you know which one's going to take longer. Um, the the portrait obviously is going to take a lot longer, and um, the accuracy that's needed is just a slower, more methodical process. Yeah, uh, and I don't think people realize that initially that you know that process is going to be slower, and that it takes more time to put the right amount of detail in and to do that. So. Thank you for sitting and kind of explaining why that process takes longer than just doing, you know, a cartoon, line art, something. So. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.